today as we explore how we can use prayer to worship God. Remember, worship is showing God we love Him because He is the most important of all. For the last two weeks, we have talked about prayer. We know that we can go to God and meet with Him anytime, anywhere. We call this meeting prayer. We are meeting with God. Prayer is a privilege. It's something we get to do and want to do. This privilege was earned by Jesus' death on the cross. Remember the diagram of us and God, and we are separated from God because of our sin? When Jesus died, he bridged that gap, and now we can come into God's presence. We can talk to him, learn from him, and tell him how much we love him. Prayer is a privilege, not a duty or a rule or a habit. It is a privilege. We have also learned that you can pray in public, out loud, or quietly in private. The most important thing is that we are thinking of God and truly talking to him. Not worried about what others are thinking of you. Today, we are going to talk about how we pray. Jesus gives us instructions in Matthew 6, 7 through 8. Let's open our Bible and see what it says. And when you pray, do not heap up empty phrases as the Gentiles do, for they think that they will be heard for their many words. Do not be like them, for your Father knows what you need before you ask Him. How do we pray? The verse teaches us that we should pray with a whole heart to God. We should not use empty phrases that don't mean anything. We shouldn't just copy what others say or say things that have no meaning for you. And we should talk to God honestly. Jesus already knows your heart. He knows everything about you. Even though he knows everything, he still loves you so much. That's why he sent his son. We don't have to worry about what others think. We are loved by God. He wants to hear your words and your heart because he loves you so much. You may have heard of the Lord's Prayer. Jesus used this prayer to teach us how to pray. He didn't want us to just memorize this prayer, but to use it as a model for our prayers. The Lord's Prayer is in Matthew 6, 9 through 13. It says, pray then like this, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Over the next few weeks, we will dive into more details on this prayer. Let's end by praying this prayer together. Say it with me. Are you ready? Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. I can't wait to study this prayer together more next week. See you then.